So I don't know if you guys have heard, but apparently Silicon Valley real estate is hot right now. And there was a recent article about a home in Sunnyvale that sold for 800,000, say hi to Steph. Hi. $800,000 more than the asking price. So, we're gonna go check it out. We're going to go, now we can't get inside the house because it's already sold and the lockbox is off and you know, the owners now live in it. So, we can't go inside, but I wanted to go check it out, show you guys around the neighborhood. Now Sunnyvale 94087 is a highly desirable part of Silicon Valley because it's so close to Google. And this particular zip code has very good schools. Homestead High School is a great high school. So it's got a lot of things going for it. But let's see, is it really worth $2.5 million? Let's find out, shall we? Paradise. Paradise, 2.4, sorry, $5 million worth of pure paradise. Are you guys ready to check this out? Oh man. You know who's really excited? These guys. <laughs> These guys are stoked. These guys are so stoked. Why is that, Danny? Well, because this is the new comparable, you know? Th that house sold for $2.5 million, so now their home is worth price per square foot, which is, I believe, in the realm of $1,300 a foot, $1,200, $1,300 a foot. Now their home is worth, can, can be reasonably appraised for that value. So, the elephant in the room is why in the hell would anybody pay $800,000 over the asking price? And I'll tell you exactly how that happens. It's the perfect storm. It's the perfect storm of there being multiple offers on the property and there being less than a thousand homes on the market right now. The inventory is so low in Silicon Valley. This is Dusty, by the way. What's it's up, the guys? guy behind the camera. Um, it's the perfect storm. One thousand, less than 1,000 active homes for sale in Santa Clara County. Think about it, Facebook, Google, Apple, these places, they're all hiring. I don't know if you've heard, but they're doing pretty well. And so all these companies that have employees that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars per year, they need a place to live and they're tired of paying rent. I don't know if you saw it in the news article, but these folks, I mean, they were tired. They were fed up of competing and competing and competing. And at some point that herd mentality, you know, it, it affects the market and it affects it obviously for the sellers in a positive way. And it affects it for the buyers and well, it affects them in the way that they feel like they have to overpay everybody else. And that's, that's who wins. That's who wins in this market is the person that overpays everybody else. But the winner gets the house. And in 10, 20, 30 years, these people, they're, they're gonna look like heroes. They're gonna look like, they're gonna look like geniuses because these homes will be worth five or six million. And then all of a sudden that investment isn't such a bad idea, right? But in the interim, you got all these people saying, oh my God, like that's so much money. For my folks in Kansas, oh, for, for my folks in Kansas here, I, give me a thumbs up. If you're from Kansas, give me a thumbs up and tell me how much that house back there would go for in Kansas. I'm gonna guess in the realm of 200,000. So even paying $800,000 over the list price clearly wasn't enough for these folks. They wanted to go ahead and remodel the inside. And it wasn't a terrible inside, but if you look at the pictures, which Dusty will put on right here, I mean, you clearly see that there is some work to be done. And I mean, look at some of these other houses in the neighborhood. I mean, this one's being rebuilt from scratch. Well, let's get a look at this, man. And this house right here is under construction. There's definitely a lot of activity going on on this cul-de-sac right now. Quite frankly, I'm gonna be hitting up every single neighbor on this court because I'm sure that one of them's gonna to wanna to sell. <laughs> this is uh, this is prime real estate now, guys. You know, and people asking, why would anybody want to pay that much money? The truth is, is that in Silicon Valley, hey, how's it going, man? Uh, yeah, we we're just um, we were checking out the house that went for over. Uh, $800,000 over the list price. We saw this one, I thought I'd check it out. How many square feet is it? Um, these are around 2,000. A little over 2,000. Oh, there's two units? Four. Oh, no way. They've been doing this for like three generations. Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> cool, man. Well, 
It was a pleasure to meet you, man. Yes. Take care. Please. All right, guys, so we just talked to the, uh, the construction guys back there, and apparently there's four homes going up, two on this court, two on the other court, new construction, completely 100% new, and really cool guy, but he was like, we can't let you on the property because, you know, safety reasons, etc. But this place is popping. Silicon, you know, two years ago, I had clients telling me, Danny, is the market gonna go down? Is the market gonna go down? And what I told them was, economically, things behave supply versus demand, right? right? Everything comes down to the basic economic principle, supply versus demand. And right now, the demand is through the roof, like Dusty, through the roof, and the supply is just very, very limited. Like I mentioned before, less than a thousand homes for sale in the entire county. That's so crazy, dude. Think That's about how so crazy. Think about how many millions of people live here, and there's like less than a thousand homes for sale. Mm -hmm. And then people ask, why did the house down the street sell for eight hundred thousand dollars over the list price? And the proof your answer. The proof is in the pudding. I want you guys to look at all these houses here. Look at all of these houses. That new comparable just skyrocketed the value of every single one of these homes. These guys are stoked. Honestly, I should go up to this guy right now and tell him, ask him if he wants to sell. What a rush. Dude, what just happened? So, I just talked to that lady, they're renters, so I'm gonna hit these people up because they're absentee owners, but really nice lady, she's from Ireland, they're renting right now, and she said that they really wanted to buy a house, but they were from Ireland, so they didn't have credit rating here, and I told her, well, coincidentally, I work with a lender that can actually pull credit from foreign countries and use that to qualify you for a loan here in the States. Is it Monique? No, it's not Monique, it's somebody else. Oh, okay. Um, but, just providing value. You yeah. Know? What a rush though, man. I haven't door knocked in years. Oh, dude, man. Fun stuff. Wow. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> See, this is the average price per square foot, and this is what the Prunel property sold at. See the difference? That's like 150. That's a lot of change. It's a lot of cash money. Danny, what causes that? Like, why did that one just skyrocket? Well, it, I mean, you, the Mercury News said it best. I mean, the lady was just like, I was fed up. So they just decided that they were gonna overpay everybody else. That's how that happens. It's herd mentality. In a bidding war, anything can happen. Which is why when I saw the news, I didn't get that excited about it. I was just like, hmm, another day selling Silicon Valley. Where has the time gone? It's like already 8 p.m. and I am starving. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because I'm just gonna go eat pokey right now and um, maybe drink a nice glass of Pinot Noir. But it was just another typical day. I really wish that we had had that showing with my client, Arpitha. Uh, busy week next week. Have a couple of listing appointments lined up uh, already. So we're just gonna nail it. We're just gonna nail it. But anyways, family, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, smash that like button. This is Danny Gould with the Gould team, the future number one real estate team in America. We're selling Silicon Valley one dream at a time. Catch you guys in the next vlog.